Alrighty everyone, welcome back. It is now January 28th of 2024, and given that the Marvel Cinematic Universe is quite barren this year, it's really going to be a very empty 2024. Before we get to next year, which by the way is most certainly going to be full of expensive failures, we know all of the issues happening with Blade 2025, Fantastic Four, Thunderbolts, and let's not forget about Captain America 4, which is just a little over one year away from its release. But focusing on Deadpool 3 and everything happening with Ryan Reynolds going up against Disney has been an ongoing issue for the past couple of months now. This is Mike Zero. Subscribe if you're new and like this video to see future updates. You can also follow me at Mike Zero One. I thank you also very much for the great and kind support. So, I've said this many times, but we know that Disney is basically run by a lying CEO, Bob Iger, as I like to call him, Bob Liger. He will say whatever he has to say to string along what he calls his customers or the shareholders as well, and really kind of just leading them into the following year to really promise them that the next year is going to be better. Now, when we look at Deadpool 3 in specifics here, we know that this film has been an up and down roller coaster production wise. Now, filming has wrapped and they have reshoots on the horizon for late March leading into early April that will be done all in studio strictly to kind of really, you know, have Bob Iger use his DEI agenda in there. These are the reshoots that are trying to be prevented by the writers like Rhett Reese, Paul Wernick, and Ryan Reynolds, etc. Now, what's interesting about all this further has a lot to do with what Ryan Reynolds recently did against Disney. Now, with the Deadpool 3 drama an ongoing issue between the creators and the Disney higher-ups, one major development has much to do with Ryan Reynolds. As it turns out, in one crucial update to the ongoing differences involving, of course, Ryan and the Disney heads, Disney, of course, recently had a big issue with Ryan Reynolds where he recently cost them roughly billions of dollars according to Disney analysts after he recently fell into serious arguments with Disney. The biggest project of all after Deadpool 3 that Ryan walked away from after Bob Iger wouldn't step back on their DEI agenda was an actual film series that was going to focus on Deadpool's return once again that would be considered a sequel quote unquote to the, so to speak after the third film. However, an entirely new story by dropping the number four title and of course really doing something new. This was a discussion that Ryan was having with Disney for months about continuing the main story of Deadpool well after the third film that would focus on Deadpool's new adventures based on the comics that would be adapted into live action with another R rating for this film project that recently went sour due to two reasons. Disney was unwilling to negotiate with Ryan on a proper payout for himself not just as an actor, but also as a co-writer for the project, as Ryan was asking for a fair payout to be involved both as the actor and the co-writer of the film, and also the argument stemmed from the fact that Bob Iger wanted to break away from a specific margin of funding for the budget of the film that was going to be announced right after the third Deadpool film's release by this July. The plan by Disney and Ryan was that this was going to spark an entire Deadpool film series, by this, of course, all fell short after Disney was not agreeing with any of Ryan's requests, both financially and creatively. Though Disney analysts projected that these films, of course, would ultimately have garnered billions altogether when all was said and done, and now that Ryan called off the deal, Disney reportedly axed the entire concept of these plans and are already restructuring them to find another alternative. Bob Iger reportedly also wanted to insert his DEI agenda into these, into these three Deadpool films that were going to serve as a new trilogy, so to speak. And though these conversations were short-lived by only a couple of months, Ryan was very close to making the deal until things went sour. Hugh Jackman and other famous actors alike were also set to join the project as well with their return. Ryan even wanted to bring in Spider-Man somehow, though which Spider-Man was a complete mystery, we're not quite sure if it was Tobey Maguire's or Andrew's or Tom's. Right now, Disney's usage of Deadpool is a complete mess as they don't know what to do moving onwards after Deadpool 3. Ryan, however, pushed Disney recently that it would be best to only use the character sparingly, regardless of how much money these films would have made. Iger's usage of DEI in these films were planned to be more on the moderate level in order to not go too extreme, but it was enough to upset fans without a doubt. 
Though Ryan wanted no agenda at all in these projects that Disney analysts projected would easily garner billions worldwide regardless. Now guys, let me stop here for one moment before I move on. Now, again, when we look at Ryan Reynolds, this is a guy that's very passionate as a writer and as an actor. He loves what he does, especially with the Deadpool character. Uh, I think when you look at a movie like Free Guy, that's another fine example of how passionate he really is of the movies that he stars in that are quite innovative and original and stuff like that and pure entertainment is what ryan is all about now look i understand some people may have different opinions on himself as an actor but i think at the end of the day his passion really shines through a lot of his work and most certainly with the first deadpool film is when really you know that began to really show big time because he really invested a lot of his time and energy into that project same exact thing was going for deadpool 3. now what's interesting about this is the fact that they basically wanted to overuse deadpool all right and i'm surprised that ryan was actually in conversations with all of this the fact that they were going to do an entire new trilogy so to speak that would be a completely different format so to speak, and something very new that we've never seen before based on the comics. Look, we know that there are different variants and types of Deadpools, right, in different comics out there. Uh, I'm sure that you guys have seen many of the set leaks for the third Deadpool film. We have gone over how the multiverse is going to meddle with that from the comics. But what's interesting about this is the fact that they wanted Hugh Jackman back as Wolverine. Now, that's the only problem that I have is... It seems like what they were going to do is that they were going to use the multiverse again, all right? And I think that overusage of the multiverse really can be quite damaging to a property, especially to an IP. And when you look at everything related to it in that sense, I think that the multiverse at this point in time is just a tool by Disney, and I've mentioned this yesterday, to just insert whatever they want to insert. It doesn't matter if it's gender swapping or if it's race swapping characters, doesn't matter. They can just make up whatever character they want to, even if it breaks away from source material. They can just say, oh, it's a character from another universe, right? But getting more onto this. In conclusion, as of now, Ryan is only working on Deadpool 3 and one other project for Disney after many fallouts and removals and others that he also walked away from as Disney has been wanting to make Ryan Reynolds into a major co-writer for the Marvel Universe under Marvel Studios, working hand in hand with Kevin Feige that they hoped would stretch for the next decade. So we also talked about this. Ryan was also removed and fired from some projects here and there and also walked away from other projects, which really diminished the roster of projects that Ryan is attached to right now, which is down to a bare minimum. So where it stands right now, it's Deadpool 3, which is wrapped filming and heading into post and another project that's untitled. So I would like to hear you know, what everyone has to say about the ongoing situation with Ryan Reynolds. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. And I will catch you guys later. Yeah.